Hi, good day. Uh, in this video, we'll be seeing about uh, IBM S4200 integration uh, with uh, my SQL database. So, uh, in my previous video, uh, I had shown uh, with SQL Server. So, this time I'll be showing with my SQL. So, here uh, I'm using the latest version as of now version 3.4.0.5 um, so let's start with the configuration uh, it's almost similar to SQL server except uh, there are certain uh, files uh, there's one DLL file which needs to be included so we will see that and uh, also we will make a transaction on uh, the device which I have over here uh dsk1 t341 amf and you should see the log on mysql database so let's start so under time attendance under third party database you see all uh, these fields you have to select my sql and you can see that you can fill all the values uh, you need to fill all in all the details so here i have installed a uh, mamp server mamp server so like here i can see my my sql credentials over here once i click on tools and php my admin it should take me to my uh, list of databases which I have so I'll click on new and I'll type a name for the database third party DB and I'll click on create table name I'll put ATT LOG and there are nine fields over here and I'll click on go now we will have to enter the field names so let's start with first is employee ID which is going to be var care I'll put it as 50 and authentication date time I'll put as uh, date time and I'll put it as 6 then it's going to be auth date date and I'll put it as 50 and auth time I'll put I'll set this field as time I'll put this in 6 and direction direction uh, it's going to be sorry it's going to be what share I'll put it as 50 and device name is also going to be what share of 50 and device SN serial number is going to be what share of 50 and person name var share and uh, let this 50 and call number share of 50 so uh, this by default we have to set it as 6 I'm not sure why uh, because if I set it as 50 I'll get an error you can see that I'm typing these two fields as 50 and uh, when I click on save there should be an error message of its limit link to six 
uh, maximum is can be six so i'll click on so i'll set that as six daytime and if it <coughs> sorry if i click on save again it will pop out an error that uh, the time should be of six so now it should get saved so we have like all the fields over here so let's uh, enter uh, the field names we have to enter here but before that let's fill in the initial details so we it's asking for uh, a configuration file import the lib mysql dot dll file to the directory so in fact um, i have already opened it over here on c drive under map under under bin under mysql and under lib you should be able to see the dll file over here so i will uh, uh, import this file or uh, here configuration so just be careful the other one is with the D over here here it's without D so you have to import this file lib mysql dot dll lib mysql dot dll and uh, uh, it's on I have installed on the my same on the same computer so I'll put it as 127.0.0.1 uh, there's no change in port database name is third party db and username is root and password is root table name is att log so let's verify again So third party DB, uh, everything is in small letter. Root root. Root is the username, root is the password. And that uh, ATTLOG is the column name and the sorry the table name and the others you should see over here. Let me scroll this over here. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So here uh, I'll type the employee ID. Employee ID. Date uh, time your date or time direction in and out device name device serial number person name card number so we have filled in the details now before I apply to database I'll just save it now I'll apply to database and I will save it. It's saved. So now we have uh, integrated MySQL with uh, IBMS 4200. Now let's test. So uh, I'll uh, click on monitoring. It should be somewhere. Monitoring. Okay, so here you should see my details. I'll show my face on the device. So you can see uh, the transaction over here. Let me minimize. It is at 8th uh, of November 2020 at 23.32. So I'll open my SQL and you should uh, see it. 
see the transaction see 8th of number 2020 at 23 32 13 so you can see all the details also like got date direction device name device serial number person name and the card number so the, this is how we uh, integrate my sql and uh, ibm as 4200 hope this video was informative so let me know in the comments if there's anything i can help you with um before i wind off like uh, there might be issues where like after saving you might not uh, still see the transaction over here in that case uh, what you can try is uh, just disable this enable this again and save and uh, most of the time that should solve the problem in case if it still doesn't solve the problem let me know in the comment section thank you thanks for watching